Hello there, this is James Dundon from anytimeeducation.com. Today, it's going to be a slightly different video than the ones I normally do. So, if this is you, you try and post maybe something from your website on Facebook, and you get this boring post. Yes, it's got a title, it's got a description, it's even got my website, but it hasn't got any of that rich media content that's actually on my website page. And that's really what's going to grab you know, our audience. So if I scroll down, how do we go from that to this, where we've got an uh, embedded video, um, it's got the title still, um, and it's even got you know, the description, and people can click on that and play it directly in Facebook and you still get likes and you still get traffic to your page if you link it to them, um, and it's just so much better. It's actually really, really easy. So if I get rid of this one, uh, so this is our Anytime Education Facebook page. Um, feel free to like us. Um, we're generally, at the moment, just doing biology videos, um, but you know, feel free to jump on board, get part of the community. So first thing you're gonna need to do, um, I'm working with WordPress, so if you're working with Word WordPress, this is gonna be the first bit's gonna be relevant to you, uh, otherwise you can skip ahead. So what we're gonna need to do is head to your dashboard, you're going to go to your plugins and you're going to install this plugin here which is called add meta tags it's uh, made by George Mataris I hope I've said his name correctly he's made my life extremely easy and that's what we're always looking for isn't it efficiency um, so make sure you install that I've got 2.4.3 which I presume is the latest version so get over to your plugins do a bit of a search add meta tags and install that now what you're going to go to do is you're going to go over to your YouTube channel. So this is really making it really easy to get um, YouTube content that might you might have already included on a page, um, but it's not appearing in Facebook very well. So this is one of my videos on genetic engineering, and I've got it on a web page, which I'll bring up now. Okay, so here's my um, DNA extraction um, post. That's on my website, and if I scroll down, you can see that I've embedded my YouTube video that actually explains that process. So if I want to get that onto Facebook, so I want to post or share this um, on Facebook, if I don't add anything extra, Facebook's going to be guessing what sort of information I want to include. So what the title might be, um, if there's a, an image or a video, um, it won't just do that automatically. We have to give it that information. So if we go back uh, to the, the YouTube um, where our uh, video is, all we have to do, I'm using a Chrome, but you could use any browser, is go up to View, Developer, and click View Source. Now this will open up a new page. Uh, it looks quite scary, um, especially if you've had no sort of um, you haven't, you're not familiar with HTML or any of the, the JavaScript or anything like that, it doesn't matter. All we have to do is go scroll down until we get to the information that's right here. Okay, so the uh, information that is starts at meta property, site name, URL, title, image, and we copy that. And we copy all of this. So basically, what all you have to do is you go from this meta property. Make sure you don't include that because otherwise, uh, any content in your web searches won't come up. So we're going to scroll from here, and we're going to copy all of this. If you want the tags from the video as well, you can. I'm just going to do the video itself. Command C, and then we go back. To our um, our website page or our website post in this case, we go edit post. Okay, so now that we've got these uh, meta tags, we're going to go across to our um, into our edit post, and we're going to scroll down now because we've installed that plugin. We're going to have a new little box called metadata. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down all the way down to full meta tags 
and you're gonna paste it right in there. I've already done that, so it'll um, make things a little bit faster. So I'm gonna race through what each of these mean just real quick and see if you wanna edit them in any way. So this OG site name is the site that you want people to see when they're looking at your video in sort of like the bottom section. So this says YouTube, I'm gonna change that to my website. Um, here it says OG URL. So this is gonna to point to where we want the audience to go if they click on the title or the description of our video. I'm gonna change that to the uh, correct URL. It's scraped the title and I'm happy with that. It's scraped an image, um, which I'm happy. So that's the default image I put on my YouTube video. Happy with that. It's got a description. Um, it sort of shows you how long it's gonna be. Um, and if you don't want it to sort of um, cut off, we can fix that. Then it's got some information here about the App Store ID. Um, you can leave all that blank if you like, but what you should try and remove is this section at the end of your video um, because it's trying to play a playlist. Um, so I normally get rid of that all the way down to this sort of like that. And I do that for all the occasions that my video is in, which is sort of annoying, um, but it, especially if you're looking at Twitter and trying to make Twitter cards, which I'll show you in the next video, you want to be able to do that. So again, you can change all these. I'm just gonna leave them for now. Um, so the important one is this content URL down here. Uh, change that, or get rid of that, I should say. Let's go a little bit further. And this is the secure version. Get rid of that. So that all should be good to go. Go up to your post, press update and we are sort of good to go. You're free to share it now. If you just wanna double check to make sure it's going to post correctly, you can open up this Facebook object debugger and put in the address. So this is, I'll just show you that one quickly. So that's developers.facebook.com tools debug object. And then you can put in the um, DNA or the address of your page that, or the post that you want to then post on Facebook. So I'm just gonna go fetch new scrape information. Anytime you change uh, this information that you put on your post, these meta tags, you should go and do this um, fetch new scrape information. Because Facebook may post something that you've done previously and it looks different to how you would expect it to do. So if you're having those troubles, make sure you um, fix this. Now, it says more than one old URL specifier. You might get a few of these errors, but it won't actually affect it from playing. Um, if you do it on a real fresh post, you won't have any of these problems. And then it'll show you how it's going to look if you post it. So let's give it a go. Go over to my Anytime Education page. I'm just gonna reload that to make sure it um, loads the, the new data properly. And Oops, let's paste our URL, press enter, and there we go. So it looks like that, it looks like it's just an image, but when you post it, it'll actually have the video embedded as well. So that's so that's how easy it is to get your, um, your website pages to post properly with the content that you want. As you become more familiar with those meta tags, you can change the image, add multiple images, make sure the site and everything behaves the way you want it, and then hit post. It's gonna really engage your audience and make sure that um, when they see a post on Facebook, they click on it and like it, and then that gets you um, sort of more interest. If you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, check out my Anytime Education Facebook page, website, whatever you like. Feel free to ask me any questions, and let's keep learning together. See ya.